What's up happy campers, I'm Ben from Chemical Apes and this is another guide for Subnautica. So for this particular guide we're going to be looking at getting the multi-purpose room. Uh, it's the point where you're going to start building the base, you're going to need it, it's your, it's your main sort of room. Uh, so it, there is a great, one great location for this, there's actually a number of locations. Um, if you've gone onto the main island, uh, that's that's a great location, but if you've sort of missed that part or you don't want to sort of venture, there is another location. It's quite, it's threat level, it's not too bad. Um, so Welcome in terms on, of Captain. location, sort of direction we want to sort of be heading uh, southeast sort of point uh, south point and then we're going to sort of go through past into the safe shallows through the kelp forest and then just on the edge which I shall point out in a minute uh, is a sort of a, a trench a channel if you like now the 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 actual multi-purpose room doesn't really come as a fragment. Uh, it's actually uh, a base that you would typically scan. Um, that's our, the actual Degassi bases. So as I mentioned before, there are there's a, a couple of bases on the on the, the actual mountain islands. Uh, but there we go. There's our first multi-purpose room. Uh, it's actually got the the glass observatory as well. Um, so what you need to do, Passing get out, and then it is really simple, all you're going to do is scan it, and away you go. So that's it, hope you liked the video guys, if you did why not subscribe, we have a, a number of uh, guides on Subnautica, um, any likes, comments, more than welcome, and that's it, ciao for now, bye bye.